Welcome back uh, to another episode of Don't Sweat the Technique. This week we're going to talk about uh, hand and grip positions and how we can uh, improve our climbing, reduce injury risk and get more freedom with body position. So first we'll deal with three main grip positions which is open hand, half crimp, close crimp. And you can see open hand here, my fingers are more draped over the hold. Half crimp, it's more of a 90 degree angle. And then close crimp, you can see this angle here with that joint starts to get smaller and smaller. So important thing to note is that this close crimp position puts a lot of stress on the pulleys, which are these uh, ligaments that stop the tendon from going uh, in a shortcut from here down to here. And they keep the tendon close to the bone. So here they wanna do the shortcut, uh, which puts a lot of strain here. The, the tricky thing is that the, the close crimp is really good. It lets you get right behind the hold and can sometimes turn a unidirectional hold into a multi-directional hold. So crimps make climbing a bit easier, but they make you much more prone to injury. So half crimp and open hand, where there's less strain on those pulleys, is a lot better for you. You have to put your body in the right position in order to use the hold. What I like to think of is breaking your climbing into performance time and training time. And while you're training, while you're trying to learn new things, Try not to crimp unless that's what you're trying to train. Taking a lot of time, being really precise and patient to get your fingers lined up really nicely and in the best part of the hole till it feels like a jug is gonna really help you. And if you take that time during training, when you come to perform, then you can do that much better and you don't have to take your time. So go slow and perfect to start with and then later you can go fast and perfect. So training that, getting used to it, it's gonna reduce your injury risk you know, teach you a bit about how to position your body and also make you stronger when your latching holds. The last tip is if you really, really want to close a crimp, you can pull that thumb over and it's super, super strong but puts so much pressure. The other thing you can do if you're really a bit weird is somehow get that thumb to act as another finger. Uh, let's talk about slopers. So first thing is we want to get lots of surface area. Um, to really spread your fingers out onto that sloper and see if you can find any flat spots. The Any little spot where you can pull straight down on a sloper is gonna help you a lot. But the other thing is, the sloper is a lot of the time people ping off because of the swing. When the hips come out from the wall, it takes them beyond that, that good vector where they can hold on. So sometimes instead of trying to keep your hips in, what you wanna do is bring them out until they're in what's called the plumb line, where your body's in harmony with gravity, straight down underneath the hold. And then you can't swing out beyond that plumb line. So finding that balance point where you can just hold on, sometimes that's the key. So moving your hips out from the wall, sometimes is actually better than moving them in, which is a bit uh, counterintuitive. Another trick with slopers is finding uh, the best part of the hold, and sometimes it's not grabbing it front on, it's, it's wrapping it with the side of your hand. Find that way that you can use all of this to dig in. Even part of your wrist can like get in, in there and create some opposition. That sometimes can make slippers much easier. Wrapping, meat wrapping, meat hooking. It starts to open up a lot of new possibilities for how to turn a sloper into something more multi-directional. Last thing I want to talk about is the thumbs. And they're so strong and so powerful. Um, and just like a close crimp, getting your thumb involved can turn a unidirectional hold into a multi-directional hold that you can pull outwards on. And being able to pull your body out from the wall is, is so important. So whenever we get the chance, especially outdoors, there's always little opportunities to get your thumb involved. It's really going to help you to uh, pull your body with more freedom and put your body where you need to put it, rather than being stuck in the one vector that makes the hold feel good. So we can use our thumbs in other ways too. Pushing directly up into holds can hold you on. It saves a bit of pump from the fingers. Um, it's called a thumb decline, like an undercling, but with a thumb. <laughs> so to summarize, uh, we talked about different grip positions, the open hand, half crimp, close crimp, and why learning how to open hand is gonna save you from some injuries and also teach you some stuff about body position. We talked about slopers, wraps, and thumbs. Uh, yeah, so um, let us know if you've got any comments, questions, suggestions, requests. I uh, really want to hear how you guys are going and uh, see you next week.